so I was having a conversation with a friend the other day and they were venting about some stuff going on in their life and they said, you know, I, I got this going on and I, I just need some direction. I need to understand what God wants me to do with this situation. And I'm trying not to question God, but I need to know what I'm supposed to do. And I was like, what do you mean you're trying not to question God? And it was like, yeah, you're not supposed to question God. And I was like, who told you that? <laughs> like, who told you you're not supposed to question God? And they were like, no, 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 that's, that's the Bible tells us not to question God. And I had to pull up Matthew and was like, no, it says ask and it shall be given unto you. You're asking for direction and it'll be given to you. You're asking for information. It'll be given unto you. Psalms talks about not leaning to your own understanding. If you're not going to lean on your own understanding, whose understanding are you going to lean on? Or how do you get it if you don't ask for it? The good book is teaching people not to question God, but the Bible is saying, ask God is looking forward to your questions. He is looking forward to your conversation. That is part of the purpose of prayer. It's one of the reasons why we pray, God, I need to know what you want me to do. God, I need to know how I'm supposed to handle this. God, I need to know what the plan is. I know how the end is. I know what happens. It says all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I'm in line with everything, God, but I need to understand what step I'm supposed to take. Where am I supposed to go? I need you to direct my path. How do you get directions if you don't ask? It's not like the GPS just automatically knows where you're going and tells you where you need to go. You got to ask. Hey, GPS, give me the directions to this place. That's what y'all doing. That's what we do. And so I don't understand why we held on to that belief. God is not mysterious. He's a good father. What father is keeping you in the dark? What father is refusing to answer your questions and acknowledge that you're talking to him? That's not a good father. So let us really understand and focus on the fact that we have a God that we can talk to. We got examples throughout the Bible of people who have reached out and said, God, I need to know what your plan is here. God, if you're really telling me to do this thing, show me this sign. You're allowed to ask God for a sign for confirmation. You're allowed to ask for understanding and direction. You're allowed to ask for those things. The disciples walked and talked to Jesus. They walked with him and asked him questions to his face. What made you think you couldn't ask him a question in prayer? Y'all, let's let this I can't question God thing go, okay? Let's focus on praying. Sometimes God is, is just really looking forward to you being in conversation with him. If you are angry, pray anger respectfully. If you are happy, pray happy. If you are confused, pray away the confusion. Not God, get rid of it, but God, give me clarity. God, give me knowledge and direction and understanding. Pray what you're looking for. Ask God the question. He's waiting for it. All right, y'all be blessed.